Uh, hi guys, this is Vitek here. Um, this is one of the projects I'm working on lately. It's uh, it's gonna be a, a John Bedini um, a six coiler. I don't have a wire uh, yet to uh, get all the coils done. I just want to show a um, couple, uh, couple ideas. Um, well, that was the most expensive part which uh, I had to order and modify um, despite the design and a couple things were not done right but uh, it works good right now uh, the magnets are not glued yet uh, I want to uh, hand pick and um, match them so they uh, they have a pretty much the same uh, Gauss value. As far as the the coils, pulls, and the holders, uh, what I did, I use uh, polypropylene, uh, one inch, and uh, I believe that's three eighths. <coughs> this is the common uh, material used as a chopping board, um, and the middle part it's a plumbing. Uh, uh, plumbing uh, plastic pipe and uh, this one is not glued yet the others are are glued and uh, I cut the a channel at the bottom and I have uh, strips here a line uh, the idea behind this was uh, so I can uh, adjust uh, a distance I'm gonna have a a slots machine in a base. This is only temporary uh, plywood base. I just uh, I was too anxious to see how the rotor will be performing and um, uh, how to adjust things. Um, as far as the coil, this is not a proper coil. I only had the four uh, four strands, and uh, so I use one as a, as a trigger, and uh, the remaining three. Uh, are uh, firing um, the, the the coils and they will be uh, a six filer uh, that's a AVG 18 uh, wire and they will look like um, like this one in my solid state and uh, twisted um, so that's pretty much uh, all about the mechanical part and uh, I have this hooked up to uh, this uh, battery which uh, has been salvaged uh, uh, from a scrapyard uh, was nearly flat when I when I got it but was no physical damage was no cracks no no uh, swelling and uh, I uh, put some uh, distilled water uh, was a little bit low and uh, the battery works pretty pretty good right now she is at uh, 12.59 and uh, these um, base resistors um, I have to change them they are 100, uh, 100 ohm uh, resistors I, uh, I need to go a little bit uh, a little bit higher than that uh, perhaps to 20 and uh, from the outputs I'm going through uh, uh, diodes and uh, to the common point and that's the positive going to the charging battery and negative it's going from the uh, input positive so uh, I'm charging with uh, uh, negative uh, negative energy um, so let's let's start this and uh, this coil it's bouncing a little bit at one point they will be faster and further here with the wire basically what I did 
I put this um, uh, wire with clips so I can run this off uh, uh, one or two or three um, uh, windings. They each come in of, of uh, the resistors from the base so I can disconnect and have just a one, uh, one coil going. She's pretty much up to speed right now and uh, the battery was sitting at uh, 1260, she's at 1272 and climbing. 1273, just gonna check the, check the speed. There's a strip. Yeah, that's about right. As I checked this before, it's 1011 RPM. Well, I guess that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to, to share right now. I will uh, I'll put some updates on the YouTube when I'll make a progress with this build. I just wanted to to share and uh, I wanted to see how how the rotor will will perform. Okay, thank you for watching.